Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. On the heels of celebrating over 75,000 downloads, I'm here to tell you that I woke up this morning and we're close to 80,000. So you guys are unbelievable. Thank you for spreading the word. Have Faith, Let It Begin. Friday edition starts in 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Ariel, can you say have faith? Again. Let it begin? Again. Say have faith. Again. Let it begin. No, no. no? No? Okay. Hi, Noah. Noah! Oh, Noah. <laughs> Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah! Have faith, live again. When it starts right now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Today is February 3rd, 2023. Yesterday was the Groundhog Day, and he saw his shadow. So I'm sure for all of us here in the New York East, uh, we can say to that. Okay, we move forward. Six more weeks of winter, um, and it is a freezing one this morning. You know, I just got off the phone with uh, my aunt and uncle in Puerto Rico, Titi Madeline and Tomas. We just did a formal prayer, so I'm going to start right now with a request from all of you from Half Faith Let It Begin. Every single prayer warrior out there to pray for my uncle Tomas, who is dealing with a kidney stone. God knows we know, and I know, how that's like. So we're asking you now more than ever to continue to pray for him and for Titi Madeline to have strength and that uh, all the doctors and nurses and that this stone will just completely disintegrate and he will be released from the hospital. So I'm asking all of you for your thoughts and prayers as we will end today's episode on that as well. Folks, today's episode is quite simple. You ever feel burnt out? You ever feel frustrated because just things keep happening? You know... This past weekend, as you all know, uh, one week from ago for today, I got really sick. I had a stomach virus, and it put me out of commission for about three days. And one of the things that I learned is that not only was it obviously a virus that I contracted by God only knows how, but a lot of it had to do with mental frustration and burnt out. We all go through it. Sometimes we don't realize it until we're laying in that bed and we're resting and resting and resting because we have no other choice. Sometimes I believe that things happen for a reason. I believe that our bodies just find a way to shut us down. They shut us down because they know we just can't take any more. Many times we get this way and we don't realize that God is also intervening. Intervening. I believe that. I believe that God gets involved and says, look, we got to get this person to relax we got to shut him down or her down just for a little bit. And I've said this many times. I'm not saying that God punishes us, but God has a, you know, he works in mysterious ways and he knows how to tell us to slow down. So I started thinking about this and I started thinking about everyone out there. Obviously, I'm not the only one that deals with this. I'm not the only one that can have situations that come up that mentally can frustrate us, can, can burn us out. And, you know, I pose the question to all of you. Are you feeling burnt out this morning? Are you feeling that way today? Are you burnt out because maybe there's so much going on that you don't even know where to begin to try to figure things out? Are you burnt out because you know it's tax season? Because you know that you have to get all the, your affairs in order? Are you burnt out because electricity bills up? God knows mine is. I mean, I had a $400 bill. You know, our oil bills are up. Everything is up. Are you frustrated because maybe there's not enough hours in work? Maybe there's not enough pay at your job right now to, to make the payments that you want to make. Are your children getting sick over and over again to the point where you just don't know what to do? You feel like your second home is the doctors or the pediatricians. Are you frustrated because you try to make a phone call to your doctor's office and nobody picks up the phone? Or... You try to get an appointment and the closest one they have is in 2028, or at least that's how it feels like. Are you frustrated because you feel as if your body is giving out? 
Are you frustrated because you're not sure what God wants you to do? I want you to all stop and think for a second. When was the last time we spoke to God and said, God, I need help. I want to talk to you. It's time that we come together and understand what what can we do to make things better. What can I do? I don't want to feel this way. And that's how we're going to close today's episode out. By speaking and praying with God. Don't be afraid to ask Him for advice. Don't be afraid to ask Him to come into your life. Don't be afraid to ask Him to stop the pain, the suffering. To stop the agony and the feeling of defeat. Ask Him to help you. Because He'll lift you up. He will pick you up. He will bring you to the path of righteousness. I promise you that. But you have to believe. You have to trust in God. You just don't sit down and pray and say to yourself, I've prayed to God, everything's going to be okay because I prayed. No. Trust and believe in Him. I'm telling you, He will work His magic. Miracles happen every single day. God works with us every single day. God intervenes and God enters our life and our thoughts and our minds every single minute, every single day. He knows what we're going to say before we even say it. So trust and believe this prayer, this is for you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to wake up this morning. We thank you for the air that we breathe. We thank you for the fact that you and I, Lord, have a relationship with each other. And Lord, I want to introduce you to the Have Faith, Let It Begin family this morning. Lord, Have Faith, Let It Begin family, family, the Lord. And for all of you listening for the first time, I would like to introduce you to our Heavenly Father. He is a gentleman that has created you in his image. He is the person that is with you from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep. He is the person that is with you when you're sleeping. He is the person with you right at this very moment. God, not everyone knows what to do, knows what to say, but they need your help and they're asking for it. So Lord, I'm asking for them and I'm asking with them to come into their hearts, to their life. We leave all the drama, all the anger, all the feeling of defeat at your steps. We leave that and we bring it up to you. We place our hands up in the sky and we say, Lord, take it away. Lord, it's yours. Lord, I'm tagging out. I'm tagging you in. I need your help. I know you're here with me. I can feel your presence. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am asking you to be with us right at this very moment. Have a blessed Friday, everyone. We pray for Tomas. We pray for the hospitals. We pray for our nurses and doctors. We pray that the next time we come on the air, he will be better. You will be better. And the Lord would have introduced himself to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. And never forget to have faith and let it begin. I love you, Tio Tomas. Titi Madeline, te quiero mucho. Yo te bendiga. See you soon. God bless. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and it, Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730 Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? 
Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we improv. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. What are you doing in August? Did you know that VBS is coming back? That's right. We're shooting for the stars. It's VBS Stellar at First Reformed Church, and I'm hoping that each and every one of you will join us. Don't forget, I will be preaching at my church March 19th, March 26th, live on all social media platforms, especially here at Have Faith Let It Begin podcast. God bless.